I mentioned in the previous video that we'd be quoting out of uh, a book that I kind of refer to as almost like a legal Bible. Um, you know, not to uh, take away from, you know, what, what the spiritual word of God is under the Holy Bible, but uh, when we're talking about the legal system, how are you going to know the mind of those that are uh, running that and defining it? And if you're playing in that legal sandbox, uh, you shouldn't be walking around without at least understanding what you're in. So, Corporate Surety Ship book, um, it's, uh, it's called Corporate Surety Ship, and uh, it's uh, the second edition McGraw-Hill Insurance Series, quoted out of a few times in a, a number of videos, but uh, we're, we're going to get to the definition of what is legal property. So, definition of property showed up on page 313 of this book, and it starts off, uh, in the various uh, insuring clauses of uh, bankers' blanket bonds, you notice that the child is wrapped in a blanket right at the hospital, even maybe symbolic of this blanket bond, there is frequent reference to the word property. These bonds provide that whenever used, the word property shall have a certain defined meaning. That definition has varied from form to form with each revised edition of each form. Its current definition in the latest edition of form number 24 reads, so they're telling you at the time, I'm not sure if things have been adjusted as far as how we would refer to uh, the form you would find this currently under, but at that time, which I don't believe things have changed, the categories and the definitions uh, or the definition of what we're reading here is everything you could possibly think of in the comprehension of what is legal property. So... Um, when you realize that everything that you got involved with, the access to money through the government security, we'll call it the birth certificate, not down the sovereignty free man, waste your time knowledge. We're talking about just very simply, you're carrying around security so you can operate in there in that world. Um, and that's it. You're in their sandbox and they want you to surety a government bond that they issue. And so therefore you're the surety for this government security. And therefore, you're registered as such as the party moving it around and using it. Uh, whether for the purposes of the state or whether you're using it for your own private gain purposes, you're being tracked. And that's it. So, uh, dealing with the definition, it starts here. It says, whenever used in this bond property, whenever used in this bond property. So, we just say everything you've ever done with the use of that security in a legal sense is legal property, and this is what defines everything you have. There is no sense of value in spiritual. Everything in the spiritual understanding of truth is invaluable. In the world of man, everything with a legal property concept is value. With the concept of something to do with a digital value or legal tender of some sort. Whenever used in this bond, property shall be deemed, which means judged, to mean money, currency, coin, banknotes, Federal Reserve notes, cancelled or uncancelled, postage and revenue stamps, U.S. savings stamps, bullion, precious metals of all kinds, and in any form, articles made therefrom, jewelry, watches, necklaces, bracelets, gems, precious and semi-precious stones, bonds, securities, evidence of debts, debentures, script, certificates of deposit, certificates of stock, car trust certificates, Equipment, trust certificates, interim receipts, interim certificates, warrants, rights, transfers, coupons, drafts, bills of exchange, acceptances, promissory notes, checks, money orders, travelers, letters of credit, uh, travelers checks, warehouse receipts, bills of lading, abstracts of title, life, ocean marine and inland marine insurance policies, deeds, mortgages upon real estate and or upon chattels and upon interest therein, and assignments of such policies, mortgages and instruments, and other valuable papers and documents, and all other instruments similar to or in the nature of the foregoing, in which the insured has an interest or which are held by the insured for any purpose or in any capacity, and whether so gratuitously or not, and whether or not the insured is liable, therefore, and chattels which are not herein before 
enumerated and for which the insured is legally liable. So everything you're talking about regarding property is legal. You do not own anything in the legal sense because the legal title you use is issued or assigned by the state to a willing consenting party to take on that liability. Therefore, you need to be insured for your actions moving around that instrument, and therefore you don't own anything in the reality concept. And as you wouldn't own anything in the spiritual concept because God is the creator and he owns you, so in the legal concept, the state owns you legally with that title. You own nothing. 